Hi guys! Today I'm going to share with you my IMATS haul. This past weekend I went to IMATS New York with um, a good friend of mine and fellow beauty blogger Ella from the Beauty Isle. Um, neither one of us have ever gone to IMATS before so it was a new experience for us. Uh, we had a great time. Um, we, had, we learned a lot of stuff. Um, we, I think we were prepared but um, you know you never, you never know until you get there. Um, I'm going to do a separate, uh, I'm going to do a blog post on my experience at IMATS, um, give you guys some tips and also share pictures from um, the trade show and then in just in this um, video I'm going to do a haul of the products that I got so you guys can see everything that um, I purchased and uh, if you have anything specific you want me to review post it in the comments below. Before I begin I just want to let you know that the amount of stuff I purchased is not like something I would normally do like purchase all this makeup at once but because it was a special occasion for me. It was um, a special opportunity. Um, I saved up to buy all this stuff. So I'm going to jump right in. The first um, stuff I'm going to show you are from Delium Tools and it's a bunch of brushes. I think they were 40% off. So I got a bunch of eye brushes um, and a face brush because those are um, things I'm constantly using. So I got a small tapered blending brush and this is number 783 and it was $6. The next thing is um, another blending eye brush, and this is $7.76, and this was $5. I got a tapered blending brush that is $7.85, and this was for $5. I got a tapered contour brush that uh, you could use like under your eyes or on uh, to apply highlighter. Uh, this is number 944 and this was $9. The last brush I got from Delium is Precision Kabuki and it was uh, num face number 957 and it was $10. So I got like a lot of brushes because I feel like I use them so often and it's worth the investment to buy a bunch of them and try new brands to see which ones you like and which ones you don't. Um, I don't wash them as often as I should so it makes it easier for me to just grab a different brush if I have a bunch of eye brushes laying around. So the next brushes that um, I got were Morphe brushes and I got, I got one that I already started using that's why it has foundation on it. It's the Morphe E6. Um, I really wanted the G6 that Jaclyn Hill um, recommended, but they were out. Um, I think this was like $14, so it's a little bit more, but it works really well. I've already used it and I'm really happy with it. So that's the Morphe E6 Face Brush. It's a Kabuki brush, I believe. The next one is the M439, and this is another face buffer brush for your face. And this was recommended from Manny, um, from Manny, you know, the YouTuber Manny makeup artist. Um, this is another really, um, you know, dense brush that puts product on your face really well. So I grabbed that as well. I grabbed another, a powder brush because I just ruined my, um, my Morphe powder brush um, by cleaning it and pulling it too hard at the tips. And I also... Um, my powder brush from my Real Techniques um, fell apart too, so I had to grab another one. This is M107. It's just a powder brush for your face. The last brush from Morphe I grabbed was M460, and it's like for contouring. Not sure how well and how close I can get this to the camera. So yeah, those are the brushes I got. I am gonna review everything that I get eventually, just how long it's gonna take, I don't know. The last thing I got is a palette. I actually got this for my sister-in-law, so I'm not gonna swatch it or anything. But I wanted to get her the Jaclyn Hill palette, but they were sold out in like, not even the first half hour that we, we got to IMATS. So this is the palette I got. So it has a bunch of, um, you know, neutrals and some pops of color. 
So I figured it would be a, a nice variety of colors since they didn't have the Jaclyn Hill, which is the one that everyone wants and can't get. It's actually now available though um, for pre-sale on the Morphe site. So this was $15. Um, I don't really know the prices exactly for uh, exactly for all these, but I want to say that this one was about $9. Like I said, this one was about $14. I think this was about 12 or 14 and this was about I think 12 I know they were all under $15 or I think one was like nine and the rest were between like 12 and 14 dollars for those brushes and I think they had like 30 percent off or something like that it wasn't anything great but you know it was what it is um, the next place I went well actually this is the first place I went because I really wanted this is the Sigma um, you know Sigma brand I went to their um, booth first and their line actually wasn't as long as I was expecting it to be because everyone said it was like three hours last year and I only waited in line for about a half an hour but Elle and I just ran straight there when we got in the first day um, they give you um, a booklet that has all the products in it so it makes it easy for you to know what you want ahead of time in line if you don't know what you want you should check out the products first because you can't get out of line to look at the products you just have to go up to the cash out stations which if you don't know what you want that's not good but I knew what I wanted I got the Mr. Bunny travel set I believe this is around 75 or 80 dollars and I got it for 60 dollars I believe and it comes with a bunch of smaller shorter brushes um, shorter handled brushes um, it comes with the large powder brush which is the F30 it comes with a foundation brush, which is the F60. It comes with a large angled contour brush, which is the F40. Comes with the tapered blending brush for your eyes, which is the E40. Pencil brush, which is E30. Eye shading brush, which is E55, and a small angle brush, which is the E65. So I thought it was a really great set. I would never spend $80 on a brush set, but because I really wanted to try these out, everyone raved about them, and I was getting it for $60. I did think it was worth it since you know the price was a lot more if you weren't at the IMAX. So I got that. I got the uh, Sigma Spa Brush Cleansing Mat, which I'm excited to use. Let me see if I can open it to show you what it looks like. You know, a lot of YouTubers got this and we're talking about it. It's actually really cool. You stick it onto your sink and then you clean your brushes. And it tells you which side to clean, like for which type of product, like your eye brushes or your face brushes. So this is really cool. I think it's like... 30, around 30 or 35 dollars, but it was, um, I got it for $22.50 at IMAX. Let's see, the last thing I got from Sigma was the Warm Neutrals palette. I've never tried any Sigma shadows before and I've always been interested in seeing what they're like. So I decided to pick up the Warm Neutrals palette because I like neutrals and so it wouldn't be a hard thing to figure out this is I believe $39.50 um, full price and I think I paid $27 for it so it wasn't a bad deal we also got some samples of some blush um, a lip vex in hint which is a pretty purple color, purple mauve color. And I got these two uh, mini brushes, the medium angled shading E70 and small angle E65 as like little freebies as, along with the lip glosses and blush cards. The next thing I grabbed was from Dose of Colors. Um, I've seen that Dose of Colors all over Instagram so I really wanted to try one of her um, liquid matte lipsticks and I got the shade Bury Me. I believe this was $15 which is a little pricey but 
Um, it's not something I can get in the store or anything, so I did want to grab it. It looked really pretty, so I can't wait to try that. Dose of colors and buried me. The next booth that I grabbed some stuff at was Tattoo You. And it is a company, a smaller uh, makeup company that is owned by, I believe, a husband and wife or a boyfriend girlfriend. I think they're husband and wife. Um, they're really nice. I met them at the show. And uh, they just have a lot of great products that I've seen reviews on. They're, all the products looked really pigmented when I've seen uh, Danny and other people review um, their products. So I was interested in trying them out. I grabbed um, my sister-in-law and myself one of their Extreme Lip Creams in Forever Yours. Their packaging is really cute as well. So um, they, are, they were running a 3 for 25 um, kind of sale, so you get three products for $25. So I got uh, two of the lip creams, and then I got um, a lipstick in New Generation, which is like another mauve color course because I'm really boring so I have to get safe colors so um, can't wait to try those out and she also threw in one of her mascaras which is the tattoo lash uh, yeah tattoo lash I said that really weird tattoo lash and um, she said that people rave about this so I'm interested in giving it a try I really think the packaging is cute again I love their packaging and uh, yeah so we'll see what how I feel about those products once I try them I grabbed two of the City, um, nope, the LA Girl Pro Concealers. Um, they didn't have testers, which kind of sucked because you had to guess um, which colors you are. I grabbed Creamy Beige and Natural, and honestly, I feel like neither one of these matched me, so I don't know. But they're only $250. Um, I'll probably do a review even though they don't match me that great. But yeah, these, these were uh, pretty big there. They had them at a couple different stations. Um, some people were selling them for five. I found them for two fifty. I saw somewhere else was selling them for a dollar, but the line was insane, so I grabbed them for two fifty each. Uh, the next one, um, Serenity and Scott were also at IMAX. They're another, um, you know, I guess independent makeup company. Um, Danny from Coffee Break with Danny really ta uh, raved about their brow gels, so I grabbed their brow gel in. Copper Auburn and I really like it. I've been using it and it warms up my brows because of my, the red dye I have in my hair. Sometimes my brows look really brown. So this actually helps warming them up a little. Um, I think I got this for $10. I'm not sure what the full price is, but I think this was $10. Next, I stopped over at NYX. I don't know what the discount was there, but they had they did have some type of discount. I don't know if it was 30 or 40 percent. Um, it wasn't 50 or 60 percent. I don't think. Could be wrong, but um, I grabbed. Let's see, the NYX Angel Veil. I don't know the prices of everything I got because, like I said, I just threw it in. But uh, the NYX Angel Veil I got. People rave about that, so I'll we'll see. I got three of the high voltage um, lipsticks. Don't ask me why, but I put back Flutter Kiss. I don't know why, and I wish I did not, because that's the one I wanted the most. But it looked different than I thought. It was going to look in my head, and I thought it was going to be too pink on my lips. And then going back and seeing swatches of it, I'm like, why did I not pick that up? Uh, the NYX booth was so packed both days, so it's not like I could have gone back, because it was kind of crazy. So I got the three of the high voltage lipsticks in Stone, Tiara. So Stone is like a, a nude, I guess. Tiara is a peachy, corally pink. And Feline is like a wine color. I also grabbed two of the NYX Wonder Sticks, um, Highlight and Contour Sticks. I've wanted these for so long. I know they were $12 online, but they were $8.50 at the show. I do know the price of these. These were $8.50. And I got the Universal Stick, and I got the Light and Medium Stick. 
So universal, I guess, is supposed to go with all different skin tones. And then I got the light medium, which would really go with mine. So I got those. And then lastly, actually two more things from a couple more things from next. I also got their NYX's um, Micro Brow Pencil because I hear that it's really comparable to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So I picked this up in Auburn. And I also picked up three of their prismatic shadows. I picked up Golden Peach, Fireball, and Bedroom Eyes. So, like I said, you guys will see reviews of all of this stuff eventually. Actually, let me do it like this. So that is Bedroom Eyes. This is Fireball. And this is Golden Peach. I also went to Inglot. All I got from Inglot was their 30T um, Bent Liner Brush and their number 77 Eyeliner Gel, which is the black, you know, infamous black. Um, gel liner from Inglot. They were each $10, the liner and the brush. So I'm interested to try this angled brush out to see if it helps me with the wing, wing and outliner because I'm terrible at it and I'm interested to try this gel liner because I hear it's like the blackest, blackest liner ever. So we'll see. Lastly, um, I stopped by city the City Color booth. Um, I'm a City Color affiliate which means that um, if someone purchases products off a link that I have on my post, I would get a commission. Like, I think it's like 10%. The products are really inexpensive. So it's really not anything that I'm making huge money off of, but it's just nice to be able to work with a company. And, um, you know, they sent me some products for review before. So anyways, um, they asked me to stop by their booth for a little goodie bag. So I have that as well that I'll show you. So the B matte blushes, um, I have a couple of them and I love them. I first got them on Ipsy, so I decided to pick up more. Um, I picked up Papaya, which I recently reviewed. I'll um, post the blog post below. Um, picked up Papaya for my sister-in-law. These were each three on sale for $3. I picked up Guava. Blackberry. and Blood Orange. These are all so pigmented, it's crazy. So for $3, like these are becoming my favorite blushes ever. So like I said, they gave me a little goodie bag for being an affiliate, which is, I thought was really nice. I'm gonna review all the products in here. What's inside was first um, a City Color All Set Setting Spray with a matte finish. Some of their, actually three of their contouring sticks um, in light, medium, and deep. Their new correcting CC color correcting sticks for uh, dark spots, redness, color neutralizer, and dullness illuminator. So all of their little CC sticks. Their mousse shadow eyeshadow base, which is like a creamy little shadow base. Two of the lip, lip, lip and ugh, let's try this again. The lip and cheek stain in cherry pie and berry sundae. Another primer, it's the Photo Chic Primer, which is a silky, lightweight, oil-free, matte finish, paraben-free primer. A mousse primer with a matte finish. And one of their B Matte lipsticks in Coral. 
So, that was my whole haul video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching what I got. Like I said, if anything interests you in particular, post it down below and um, I'll do a review on it. And so keep an eye out for my experience post on my blog. And also, um, we went to the Bite Beauty Lab, so check, keep a lookout for that as well, um, a separate post on that. And so anyways, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them in the comments box below. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.